Okay. Now, <coughs> let us see how to do find dy by dx here. So, you have x raised to m, y raised to n is x plus y raised to m plus n. So, that means log x raised to m, y raised to n is log x plus y raised to n plus n. Now remember m and n are constant. So now this can be written as log x raised to m plus log y raised to n is equal to m plus n log x plus y. This again can be written as m log x. Remember index rule, index rule for logarithms m plus n log x plus y. Now differentiate with respect to x. So m log x is going to be m by x, n log y would be n by y and then using chain rule dy by dx. Even here you have to find d by dx of x which is 1. Here it is d by dx of y which will be dy by dx. And here you have m plus n into log of the derivative of x log of x plus y is x plus y into derivative of x plus y. Derivative of x is 1 plus derivative of y is dy by dx. So now we need to arrange things. So you have m by x here and m plus n <coughs> upon x plus y into 1 m plus n by x plus y. We bring it to this side, it becomes m plus n upon x plus y. Here, you take dy by dx common. This into dy by dx, hence this will be m plus n upon x plus y minus n by y. Now, this is x into x plus y mx plus my. minus mx minus mx and this will be dy by dx and here you have my plus ny minus mx minus ny upon y into x plus y. Many terms will get cancelled x plus y multiplying on both sides mx minus mx and n y and minus n by. So if we carry this to this side, you end up getting m y minus n x upon x is equal to d y by d x into m y minus m x n x upon y. Now again here m y minus n x, the common factor gets cancelled. And hence y by x is equal to dy by dx. So ultimately dy by dx is this option that is y by x. <coughs> so again we have used the concept of logarithms and gone about doing this and it simplifies into such a simple concept. Yes it is y by x. Okay now here we have something interesting here. So we have some here y is equal to root x raised to root x raised to root x. Remember we did something like this for y is equal to x raised to that. So now what do we do? You take log y is equal to log of this whole thing root x raised to root x raised to root x up to infinity. So now this part will come here. So we'll take this here log y is equal to root x raised to root x up to infinity into log root x. Now log root x can be written as log x raised to half. Now if you see log y, this is also y. So we can write it as log y into half log x. y into half log x. Now we can use our chain rule or we can use a quotient rule, chain rule all the rules differentiate with respect to x. So you get 
1 by y dy by dx here. Here use product rule. We can take half common outside or okay y into d by dx of half log x which is 1 by 2x. Then half log x into d by dx of y that is dy by dx. Collect all the dy by dx terms over here. So we get dy by dx into 1 by y minus log x by 2 is equal to y upon 2x. Now this will now become dy by dx 2y 2 minus y log x is equal to y by 2x. Obviously 2 2 will get cancelled. dy by dx is equal to cross multiply you get y square upon x into 2 minus y log x. So it's going to be y square upon x into 2 minus y log x. That is option number B. Okay, so what do we have? Yes, that's right. <clears throat> okay, now we have something interesting here. We have to find the value of f dash 0. f dash 0 means we need to find out f of x, f dash x first. Hence we have. Now see, let's first uh, write this expression properly. f of x is equal to a plus x upon 1 plus x. This has been raised to a plus 2x plus 1. This has been as well raised to a plus 2x plus 1. We can take it as y. Now we take log on both sides. So log y would be equal to log we can a plus x raised to a plus 2x plus 1 minus log 1 plus x a plus 2x plus 1. This is nothing but a plus 2x plus 1 log a plus x minus a plus 2x plus 1 log 1 plus x. This is log y. Now we need to differentiate both sides with respect to x. So we get 1 by y dy by dx. Now here we need to use product rule and twice here. So it's going to be a plus 2x plus 1 into d by dx of a plus x. That is a plus x only into d by dx of a plus x. So you get this. Next is plus log a plus x into d by dx of this. d by dx of a is 0, d by dx of 1 is 1, d by dx 0, d by dx of 2x is 2. So we can write it as into 2. So this part has been done. Next is this. Now it will be a plus 2x plus 1 into d by dx of 1 plus x. That is 1 plus x itself. And of course, using chain rule, d by dx of x, which is 1. The next would be plus. But then since this is minus, minus of plus becomes minus. Next is log of 1 plus x into d by dx of a plus 2x plus 1, which is going to be d by dx of a is a, d by dx of 2x is 2, or a is 0, d by dx of 2x is 2, d by dx of 1 is also 0. So it's going to be into 2. So now we need to find this out, what the whole thing is going to be. Okay, now, hence now dy by dx is going to be y into all this. So y is going to be a plus x upon 1 plus x, the whole raised to a plus 1 plus 2x, the whole into a plus 2x plus 1 upon a plus x plus 2 log 
a plus x minus a plus 2x plus 1 upon 1 plus x minus 2 log 1 plus x. Now if you want to find out dy by dx that is f dash 0, you just have to substitute 0 at all the places. So you get a plus 0 upon 1 plus 0 which is 1 raised to a plus 1 a plus 0 by a by 1 raised to a plus 1 and this will be a plus 1 upon a because you substitute 0 plus 2 log a minus a plus 1 upon 1 minus 2 log 1 okay now this is nothing but this or space gone here so a plus 1 raised to a plus 1 is a raised to a plus 1 in the, is a common term and this is nothing but a plus 1 by a okay. plus 2 log a plus 2 log a minus of a plus 1 by 1 minus 2 log 1 log 1 to any base is nothing but 0 because of even was a e raised to 0 is 1 so we did this earlier so we get it so this will be a raised to a plus 1 we can combine these two together if you take the LCM it is a so you get a plus 1 minus a square minus a plus 2 log a now a and minus a get cancelled and you get a raised to a plus 1 into 1 minus a square upon a plus 2 log a. So this will be our final answer. See something as complicated as this. The moment you found out f dash 0, you get this. Hence among these, we have this as the right answer, a raised to a plus 1, 1 minus a square by a plus 2 log a. I am sure, yes, it does tally.